Summary of IP Law Types of IP Intellectual property is a broad concept that covers several types of legally recognized rights arising from some type of intellectual creativity or that are otherwise related to ideas. IP rights are rights to intangible things, to ideas, as expressed copyrights, or as embodied in a practical implementation patent. Tom Palmer puts it this way, quote, Intellectual property rights are rights in ideal objects, which are distinguished from the material substrata in which they are instantiated, end quote. In today's legal systems, IP typically includes at least copyrights, trademarks, patents, and trade secrets. Copyright Copyright is a right given to authors of original works, such as books, articles, movies, and computer programs. Copyright gives the exclusive right to produce the work, prepare derivative works, or to perform or present the work publicly. Copyrights protect only the form or expression of ideas, not the underlying ideas themselves. While a copyright may be registered to obtain legal advantages, a copyright need not be registered to exist. Rather, a copyright comes into existence automatically the moment the work is fixed in a tangible medium of expression and lasts for the life of the author plus 75 years or for a total of 95 years in cases in which the employer owns the copyright. Patent. A patent is a property right in inventions, that is, in devices or processes that perform a useful function. A new or improved mousetrap is an example of a type of device which may be patented. A patent effectively grants the inventor a limited monopoly on the manufacture, use, or sale of the invention. However, a patent actually only grants to the patentee the right to exclude, i.e. to prevent others from practicing the patented invention. It does not actually grant the patentee the right to use the patented invention. Not every innovation or discovery is patentable. The U.S. Supreme Court has, for example, identified three categories of subject matter that are unpatentable, namely, quote, laws of nature, natural phenomena, and abstract ideas, end quote. Reducing abstract ideas to some type of practical application, i.e., a useful, concrete, and tangible result, is patentable, however, U.S. patents since June 8th of 1995 last from the date of issuance until 20 years from the original filing date of the ap patent application. The previous term was 17 years from date of issue. Trade Secret A trade secret consists of any confidential formula, device, or piece of information which gives its holders a competitive advantage so long as it remains secret. An example would be the formula for Coca-Cola. Trade secrets can include information that is not novel enough to be subjected to patent protection or not original enough to be protected by copyright, e.g. a database of seismic data or customer lists. Trade secret laws are used to prevent the misappropriations of the trade secret or to award damages for such misappropriations. Trade secrets are protected under state law, although recent federal law has been enacted to prevent theft of trade secrets. Trade secret protection is obtained by declaring the details of a subject are secret. The trade secret theoretically may last indefinitely, although disclosure, reverse engineering, or independent invention may destroy it. Trade secrets can protect secret information and processes, e.g. compilations of data and maps not protectable by copyright, and can also be used to protect software source code not disclosed and not otherwise protectable by patent. One disadvantage of relying on trade secret protection is that a competitor who independently invents the subject of another's trade secret can obtain a patent on the device or process and actually prevent the original inventor, the trade secret holder, from using the invention. Trademark A trademark is a word, phrase, symbol, or design used to identify the source of goods or services sold and to distinguish them from the goods or services of others. For example, the Coca-Cola mark and the design that appears on their soft drink cans identifies them as, them as products of that company, distinguishing them from competitors such as Pepsi. Trademark law primarily prevents competitors from infringing upon the copyright, i.e. using confusingly similar marks to identify their own goods and services. Unlike copyrights and patents, trademark rights can last indefinitely if the owner continues to use the mark. The term of a federal trademark registration lasts 10 years, with 10-year renewal terms being available. Other rights related to trademark protection include rights against trademark dilution. 
certain forms of cyber squatting, and various unfair competition claims. IP also includes recent legal innovations such as the mask work protection available for semiconductor integrated circuit IC designs, the sui generis protection similar to copyright for boat hull designs, and the proposed sui generis right in databases or collections of information. In the United States, federal law almost exclusively governs copyrights and patents since the con Constitution grants Congress the power to quote, promote the progress of science and useful arts, end quote. Despite the federal source of patents and copyrights, various related aspects, such as ownership of patents, are based on state law, which nevertheless tend to be fairly uniform from state to state. Federal trademarks, by contrast, not being explicitly authorized in the Constitution, are based on the Interstate Commerce Clause and thus only covers marks for goods and services in interstate commerce. State trademarks still exist uh, since they have not been completely preempted by federal law, but federal marks tend to be more commercially important and powerful. Trade secrets are generally protected under state, not federal law. Many laymen, including libertarians, have a poor misunderstanding of IP concepts and law and often confuse copyrights, trademarks, and patents. It is widely and incorrectly believed that in the U.S. system, the inventor who files first at the patent office has priority over those who file later. However, the U.S. system is actually a first-to-invent system, unlike most other countries, which do have a first-to-file system for priority. IP Rights in Relation to Tangible Property As noted above, IP rights, at least for patents and copyrights, may be considered rights in ideal objects. It is important to point out that the ownership of an idea or ideal object effectively gives the IP owners a property right in every physical embodiment of that work or invention. Consider a copyrighted book. Copyright holder A has a right to the underlying ideal object of which the book is but one example. The copyright system gives A the right in the very pattern of words in the book. Therefore, by implication, A has a right to every tangible instantiation or embodiment of the book, i.e. a right in every physical version of the book or at least to every book within the jurisdiction of the legal system that recognizes the copyright. Thus, if A writes a novel, he has a copyright in his work. If he sells a physical copy of the novel to B in, form, in the book form, then B owns only that one physical copy of the novel. B does not own the novel itself and is not entitled to make a copy of the novel even using his own paper and ink. Thus, even if B owns the material property of paper and printing process, he cannot use his own property to create another copy of A's book. Only A has the right to copy the book, hence copyright. Likewise, A's ownership of a patent gives him the right to prevent a third party from using or practicing the patented invention, even if the third party only uses his own property. In this way, A's ownership of ideal rights gives him some degree of control ownership over the tangible right or of innumerable others. Patent and copyright invariably transfer partial ownership of tangible property from its natural owner to innovators inventors, and artists.